and I hope you can hear me clearly. Welcome. And uh, thank you very much indeed for turning out for what has been described as the art event of the decade. The Da Vinci Project is the future of art. Annie taps into human imagination, passion, emotion and intuition and then communicates what the subject is feeling, thinking and conceptualizing into a magnificent piece of art in an appropriate medium. I first met Jean-Pierre some 10 years ago when he came to see me with what appeared to be an absolutely crazy idea. In fact, I thought he should seek psychiatric advice. For a few years afterwards, I was skeptical, a machine that producing art, until he showed me what it would achieve. The grace, the technique, the quality of the art, I was absolutely amazed. And when he invited me recently to come and see the final product, I went to his studio, laboratory, strange place, and there I was reduced to Annie, an amazing machine, absolutely bowled me over. I really feel it's a cataclysmic event in the history of 21st century art. Well, I am very pleased and delighted to introduce you to Annie. You're just going to be putting some sensors onto Lebo. So Lebo, what I'm going to ask you to do is just to think of something quite emotional, happy, sad, whatever it is. So on the right hand side of the brain, you can have a look. So we're tapping into her emotions then. These are the photos that are coming up within the machine and linking it to her artwork. It's starting to tell us now that it is definitely going to be a painting. As opposed to a piece a, a of sculpture. sculpture. Yes. And so Annie has linked that to a canvas. A canvas and acrylic paints. I was remembering a loss of a close friend of mine. art be produced only by uh, artists? You know, should uh, only artists be able to produce art? Uh, should it be the privilege of only a chosen few? I have a different aspect of this. I get to see art today. And this is why... This is why Don't you think that you are having a negative effects on art rather than this positive one that you're trying to come across. It seems to me like it's fantastic, but it's like a printer that you plug into the brain and it's completely unconscious, where the role of a contemporary artist is a conscious involvement in what they choose to yeah. make. Yeah. This whole concept seems to um, be part of a very naive thing. I think it needs a machine. It's humans. It needs what you feel. It has. What the music has. What are the music has. So the motion inside. Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. You know, if this is not uh, what what the kind of technology that the world of art needs, then I'm not really sure. And you, maybe you can enlighten me about what the world of art needs today. You know. Calm down. So calm down. Calm down. And an issue we face every day in South Africa and Africa as a whole is that there is not enough focus on the arts. And in a world being consumed by technology, now more than ever, art needs you.